that's it and welcome back to my channel joe's learn today i will be showing you some easy multiplication tricks these multiplication tricks will definitely be very interesting so please don't skip the video and if you like the video please share it with your friends so let's get started can only be used for the particular number so the first trick which i am about to show you can only be used if the sum of the units place equals to 10 and the digits before that are same so now i will explain it in detail with some examples so my first example is 54 multiplied by 56 so to find the product of these two numbers We should multiply five with its next number, six. Five multiplied by six, thirty. So write it down as the first two digits of your answer. Now to find the next two digits, we should multiply the digits in the one space, four and six. So four multiplied by six, twenty-four. So if you write it down in your, as your last two digits, so fifty-four multiplied by fifty-six equals to. Three thousand twenty-four. Now let's move on to this example. That is sixty-one multiplied by sixty-nine. So we have to first look at the digits in the tens place. Six. So we have to multiply it with the next number. So six multiplied by seven equals forty-two. So write it down as the first two digits of your product. Now let's move on. to finding the next two digits of our product to find that multiply the digits in the ones place 1 and 9 1 multiplied by 9 9 but you have to write a two digit number so add 0 so 61 multiplied by 69 equals to 4209 now let's move on to this example that is 83 multiplied by 87 So first you have to look at the digits in the tens place 8 and 8 so we have to multiply with its next number so 8 multiplied by 9 equals 72 so we have to write it down as the first two digits of our product so now we have to multiply 3 and 7 so 3 multiplied by 7 21 so we have to write it down as the next two digits of our product Now the answer of eighty-three multiplied by eighty-seven equals to seven thousand two hundred and twenty-one. So now let's move on to this example that is one hundred and twelve multiplied by one hundred and eighteen. So first we have to look at the digits in the tens place, but in this case tens and hundreds place are also there. So we have to count them as one number eleven. So now we should multiply eleven with its next number, twelve. Eleven multiplied by twelve equals to one hundred and thirty-two. Now that we should multiply the digits in the units place, two and eight. Two multiplied by eight equals to sixteen. So we have to write it down as the next two digits of our product. Now. One hundred and twelve multiplied by one hundred and eighty equals to thirteen thousand two hundred and sixty. Thirty-six multiplied by thirty-four. So first, if we have to look at the digits in the tens place, three. Now we have to multiply three with its next number, four. So three multiplied by four equals to twelve. So we have to write it down as the first. Two digits of our product. Now we have to multiply the digits in the unit space. Six multiplied by four equals to twenty-four. So we have to write it down as the next two digits of our product. So thirty-six multiplied by thirty-four equals to one thousand two hundred and twenty-four. Now let's move on to the next trick. And as I said. This trick can only be used if the sum of the digits in the tens place equals to ten, and the digits in the units place are same. 
So now I will explain it in detail using some examples. 68 multiplied by 48. So first we have to multiply the digits in the tens place and add it with the digit in the ones place. So 6 multiplied by 4, 24. 24 plus 8, 32. So we have to write it down as the first two digits of our product. Now to find the next two digits of our product, we should multiply 8 and 8. So 8 multiplied by 8, 64. So we have to write it down as the next two digits of our product. So 68 multiplied by 48 equals to 3264. Now let's move on to this example that is 84 multiplied by 24. So first we have to look at the digits in the tens place. 8 and 2 and multiply them together and add the digit in the ones place. So 8 multiplied by 2, 16 and plus 4. 16 plus 4 equals to 20. So we have to write it down as the first two digits of our product. To find the next two digits of our product, we should multiply the digits in the ones place. So 4 multiplied by 4 equals 16. So we have to write it down as the next two digits of our product. Now let's move on to this example that is 93 multiplied by 30. So first we have to look at the digits in the tens place. 9 and 1 and multiply them together. That equals to 9. So now we have to add the 1's digit to it. So 9 plus 3 equals to 12. So now we have got the first two digits of our product. Now to find the next two digits of our product, we should multiply the digits in the 1's place. So 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9. But we need a two digit number. So we have to write it as 0, 9. So now 93 multiplied by 13 equals to 1209. Now let's move on to this example that is 32 multiplied by 72. So first we have to look at the digits in the tens place and multiply them together. So 3 multiplied by 7 equals 21. And now we should add the digit in the ones place to it. So 21 plus 2 equals 23. Now to find the next two digits of our product, we should multiply the digits in the ones place. So 2 multiplied by 2 equals 4. But we should have a two digit number. So we add 0 and write it as 0, 4. So 32 multiplied by 72 equals to 2304. Now let's move on to this example that is 78 multiplied by 38. So first we have to look at the digits in the tens place. 7 and 3 and multiply them together. So 7 multiplied by 3 equals 21. So now we should add the digit in the ones place to it. So 21 plus 8 equals 29. So now we have got the first two digits of our product. Now to get the next two digits of our product, we should multiply the digits in the ones place. That is 8. Now 8 multiplied by 8 equals 60. So 78 multiplied by 38 equals to 2960. So we can use these easy multiplication tricks to solve a particular number in 2 seconds of time. But you have to remember that if you want to use the first trick, we have to make sure that the sum of the ones place should equal to 10 and the digits before that should be same. And if you want to use the second trick, we should make sure that the sum of the digits in the tenth space should be 10 and the digits in the ones place should be same. I hope you understood these multiplication tricks. So now if you like this video, please subscribe now and also enable the bell icon to get notifications on my latest videos. Bye friends! Thank you for watching!